I focus on uh, the effect of um, terror attacks on the European public and politics. I have started looking with looking at traditional media. I looked at broadcast, I looked at radio, I looked at newspaper, you know, the old tr traditional media, but also on the other hand, and social media. I'm looking at the transition from old to new. And the interesting thing is, is that with being in Qatar, you can not only see that in the media at Al Jazeera, they have also dealt with old media and they're focusing on new media. You also see this fusion of old and new in Qatar and Doha itself. You have the old village, you have the old souk, the bazaar, uh, but you have skyscrapers in the background. It is the first time I am in uh, Qatar, in Doha, um, and it's different. It's very, very different from what I know so far. Do it. <laughs> Will somebody do it with me? I'm really excited to go to Al Jazeera because it really is part of my research and because the Al Jazeera effect is even a journalistic term, it's affected the entire world and the entire media world. What we will be looking at with Al Jazeera in this workshop is data journalism and how data has become key. We have to cross to the future, so uh, we understand that traditional media still has an important role, but if you want to cross the future, you have to adapt. Do you call it like a, a new media, media of the future, digital uh, media? In Al Jazeera, we keep adapt every day. We don't look for things from the angle of right or wrong. We have experimental mentality. In my research, I'm looking at something that can be a very, very sensitive topic, and sometimes it's really hard to get across the, um, the results I get. Um, I need, and I was searching for something much more easier to understand, much more digestible way to bring across my results of what I'm finding and what my research is showing me. You can have the same content you think is important, but how to deliver it for the audience, it needs a kind of art. Data journalism has given me kind of a tool to do this, um, be it a video that I can make out of it or an infographic or a social media post or something like that. It really gives me the tools and the means to translate what I'm finding in my results. Uh, young generation is migrating to a different platforms, Instagram, and now younger they are immigrating to TikTok. How we can still keep uh, 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 talking to these different audiences? It's different content, different format of the content. We are struggling, but this is the new era. I mean, this is the free flow of information, the free platforms. We don't resist change. We keep adapting all the time. This is our strategy and have the courage to uh, test new ideas all the time. Hi, I'm Munir. Hi, I'm Nora. So Hayat, we're going to go to Al Jazeera English department and I'm going to take you along. <laughs> We're 15 ESR, so 15 early stage researchers. And sadly, uh, one of us, <laughs> Hayat, um, is not able to be here. Um, actually, with uh, the advancement of technology, although she can't be here in person, you know, with our smartphones and all that, we have been able to communicate with her, have her see what we're doing. So it feels like she is here with us. So I couldn't come, but my friends have kindly fed me with pictures, videos, and updates. And thanks to digitization, um, I had the chance to interview the organizers and the trainer, namely Mr. Muntasir Marai and Mr. Muhammad Haddad. Hello, Mr. Muntasir. Good morning, Khair. Uh, happy Al Jazeera anniversary. I would like to congratulate you for 25 years of professional media work. Can you please tell us a little bit about Al Jazeera Media Institute as part of this whole network and probably zoom into your department? Thank you for this interview. And uh, uh, yes, Al Jazeera now is celebrating the 25th anniversary. 
which is a tipping point in the not only in the history of Al Jazeera but also in the region because, because we believe that Al Jazeera contributed in shaping the media landscape in the uh, region, uh, being the voice of the voiceless and uh, uh, liberating the media from the power of money and uh, politics. Now, yes, as you mentioned, Al Jazeera is a huge network. We started in uh, 1996 uh, as a TV channel only, which was Al Jazeera Arabic TV channel. Then, uh, year by year, we started to uh, enlarge Al Jazeera to become a network. We established Al Jazeera English. We felt that there is a huge demand on different platforms and the wide spectrum of audiences. Thank you for all this information. And also thank you for hosting the, the, the media community. Thank you for your hair. We are very glad to have you all here in Doha. Thanks thank again. you very much. This is what happens in the newsroom every day and you are all my producers. Hello, Mr. Haddad. Uh, today is the first day of the workshop you are delivering for the media group. Uh, I know that you already have given this workshop for a lot of journalists and media professionals, but I would like to know if you had to adjust this particular workshop for the media group as academics and researchers. Yes, so we, as you said, we typically train anyone in the media landscape. So we've trained students from universities as well as practitioners, where normally we are looking at fairly straightforward stories. In this case, we're hoping to dive a lot deeper um, and really extract meaningful stories from bigger data sets. We'll be going through various tools that these uh, researchers will be able to use in any field that they, that they find interesting. I think it will be really helpful to focus on the slower journalism, uh, journalism that ha can leave an impact and something that can really resonate for, for the long term. And I'm really hoping we can do that this week. Thank you for all these insights and I wish you a productive week. Thank you, Hayat. It's off to the class now, so I'll see you later. Bye-bye. What I've learned until now in this workshop is that it is something meant to catch your interest. That is the whole point of data journalism, is to be able to take something very dry and to convert it into something that is attractive. <laughs> During my time in Doha, I had the chance to experience the inner workings of the Al Jazeera International Channel, and I was trained in how to make my data be able to speak for itself. The diversity of the place was really mind-boggling. Doha itself, and especially Al Jazeera, is a place where it seems the entire world is represented. It's a truly international place. Well, it was a bit strange not to be there since I lived in Doha for a few years. Of course, um, I was so happy to hear that my colleagues had a very nice experience, uh, but it was a bit sad that I couldn't show them all the places that I promised personally. I mean, the bazaars, the museums, the mosques, and all the other interesting sites of Doha. To be with my colleagues has once again been a very rewarding experience. Our group has, from day one, been a very nice, academic and friendly safe space in which we bounce ideas off of one another. And getting to be together in person again is a real treat. In my research itself, I hope that I can get my data and can analyze it and find results. Personally, I hope that I will have the necessary fundament to apply for the job that I really want to do. And um, actually, as a matter of fact, I found out I want to go into that area or into that field of knowledge through MIDA, through this research. <laughs>